he was a very probably the most wide-ranging journalist of our generation. Hundreds gathered to celebrate the work of award-winning photographer and filmmaker Tim Hetherington at the Bronx Documentary Center on 151st Street and Cortland Avenue. The photos taken over his 15-year career reveal life just yards away from some of the fiercest battles in the world. He was consistently on the front. And uh, if you look at his work from Afghanistan, from Liberia, he was right up with the soldiers, with the civilians who were under fire. From Africa in the early part of his career to the Korangal Valley, a remote part of eastern Afghanistan, where he was embedded with American troops, Hetherington gave the world images beyond front cover stories that brought them right into a community thousands of miles away. He doesn't try to, to document just what what the magazines and the newspaper want to say, but his own human point of view on the war, and that's what we uh, civil people need to understand better what's going on there. It was his work in Afghanistan that served as a foundation for a documentary he directed along with Sebastian Younger called Restrepo that received an Oscar nomination. He financed, self-financed a lot of his projects, and then he would develop them into books and, and films and that's what he was doing so he was there uh, without an assignment he was really there because he wanted to cover the conflict. Hetherington who was born in Great Britain and who called Brooklyn home decided to head to Libya to cover the conflict there that's where he was in April. Tim went back he wanted to document the war there uh, he wanted to show what the Libyan people were going through. It was there where he was killed by artillery fire. I think it's fantastic that they open uh, this place with this kind of photography, but it's also very emotional. His mother also there to share what made him stand out as a photographer. He was thoughtful. He was um, yeah, he was a very charismatic communicator, I think. He was able to always um, have that sensitivity for his subject, and I think that was what he could do very well with anybody he could communicate. Tim Hetherington's work will be here on display at the Bronx Documentary Museum through December 2nd. The hours are 11 to 6 Wednesday through Sundays. For Bronxnet, this is Arlene Makoko.